What is a class loader in Java? Answer, a class loader is a mechanism in Java that loads classes into memory at runtime. What is the purpose of the assert keyword in Java? Answer, the assert keyword is used to test assumptions about the state of the program during development. What is the difference between a shallow copy and a deep copy in Java? Answer, a shallow copy creates a new object that shares the same memory as the original object, whereas a deep copy creates a new object with its own memory. What is a functional programming in Java? Answer, functional programming is a programming paradigm that emphasizes the use of functions as the primary building blocks of programs. What is the difference between imperative programming and declarative programming in Java? Answer, imperative programming specifies the steps necessary to achieve a goal, whereas declarative programming specifies the goal itself. What is the purpose of the volatile keyword in Java? Answer, the volatile keyword is used to indicate that a variable may be modified by multiple threads. What is a factory pattern in Java? Answer, a factory pattern is a design pattern that provides a way to create objects without specifying the exact class of object that will be created. What is the difference between a decorative pattern and an adaptive pattern in Java? Answer, a decorative pattern adds behavior to an object dynamically, whereas an adapter pattern adapts an existing interface to a new interface. What is the purpose of the this keyword in Java? Answer, the this keyword is used to refer to the current object. What is the difference between an inner class and a nested class in Java? Answer, an inner class is a non-static class that is defined inside another class, whereas a nested class is any class that is defined inside another class. What is the difference between a private and a protective method in Java? Answer, a private method can only be accessed within the same class, whereas a protected method can be accessed within the same package or subclass. What is the purpose of the super keyword in Java? Answer, the super keyword is used to refer to the parent class of the current object. What is the difference between a public and a default access modifier in Java? Answer, a public access modifier allows access to a member from anywhere, whereas a default access modifier allows access to a member only within the same package. What is the difference between a static and a non-static method in Java? Answer, a static method belongs to the class and can be called without creating an instance of the class, whereas a non-static method requires an instance of the class to be called. What is the difference between a final variable and a final class in Java? Answer, a final variable cannot be reassigned once it has been initialized, whereas a final class cannot be subclassed. What is the purpose of the transient keyword in Java? Answer, the transient keyword is used to indicate that a field should not be serialized. What is the difference between a checked and an unchecked exception in Java? Answer, a checked exception must be declared in the method signature or handled in a try-catch block, whereas an unchecked exception does not have to be declared or handled. What is the purpose of the throws keyword in Java? Answer, the throws keyword is used to declare that a method may throw a particular exception. What is the difference between a synchronized block and a synchronized method in Java? Answer, a synchronized block locks on an object and allows multiple threads to access the code within the block, whereas a synchronized method locks on the object's monitor and allows only one thread to access the code within the method at a time. What is a deadlock in Java? Answer, a deadlock is a situation in which two or more threads are blocked and waiting for each other to release a resource, resulting in a deadlock. What is the purpose of the wait method in Java? Answer, the wait method is used to suspend the execution of a thread and release the object's monitor. What is the difference between a thread and a process in Java? Answer, a process is a running instance of a program, whereas a thread is a unit of execution within a process. What is the purpose of the yield method in Java? Answer, the yield method is used to give up the current thread's time slice and allow other threads to run. What is the difference between a weak reference and a strong reference in Java? Answer, a strong reference keeps an object in memory as long as the reference exists, whereas a weak reference allows the object to be garbage collected if no strong references exist. What is the purpose of the finalize method in Java? Answer, the finalize method is used to perform any necessary cleanup before an object is garbage collected. What is the difference between a stack and a queue in Java? Answer, a stack is a data structure that operates on a last in, first out basis, whereas a queue operates on a first in, first out basis. What is the purpose of the equals method in Java? Answer, the equals method is used to compare two objects for equality. What is the difference between the equals equals operator and the equals method in Java? Answer, the equals equals operator compares two object references for identity, whereas the equals method compares two objects for equality.